Why don't you block it with the preview? I have got it here, but... Okay, so I'm going to do sample problem one. Multiple choice question 12. There's a worked example, and the question says the function f such that f dashed of x is equal to negative sine 3x. So we want to find the function f so that its derivative is equal to that. So we're working backwards. We've got the derivative, we want the original function. We know that that involves anti-differentiation or integration. We're also told that f of 2 pi over 3 equals 3. And this is going to come in handy when we've got that constant of integration at the end. So we really want to find the integral <coughs> of f dash of x. That's really what our problem is. So we start off with our notation, the integral notation minus 6 sine 3x. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is apply this property of integrals, which says that if we've got a constant times a function, then that's just, and we want the integral of that, then that's just equal to the constant times the integral of the function. So what do you think this line is going to become? What's the constant there? Yeah, so the negative 6 just comes out the front, and we've got the function is sine of 3x. So now we've used this rule here. Now we've used that property, sorry. So property 1, 2. I'll label them like that. So property 2 we've used. Can anybody see which integration rule we're going to use now to actually do this part? So, which one? Four? Yeah. So, we still leave our negative six at the front. What's the A in our example? So, the rule I'm going to use is minus one over what? A, where A is three, cos three X plus C, yeah? Can you see how I've taken that general rule and all right, now I need to s expand this out because it's negative six times all of that. So I'll just use my <coughs> distributive law. Negative six times negative one over three cos three x. And what's the second term gonna be? Negative six c. Now I can tidy that up. What does this become? So I'll get 2 cos 3x take 6c, yeah? And that is actually our f of x now. Alright? And now we need to go up the top and use what we had here. f of 2 pi over 3 equals 3. I'm going to substitute that in. f of 2 pi. So I get 2 cos... Take 6c. Can I simplify anything inside those brackets there? The threes go away, I get 2 cos 2 cos 2 pi take 6c. And what did we what were we told the f at 2 pi over 3 equaled? 3. 3. So now I've got that equation and what do I want to find out? C. C. Now remember your unit circle? Unit circle looked like this where the x is the cosine and the y is the sine. 2 pi is here. What's the x value there? 1, yeah? So I get 3 equals 2 times 1, take 6c. Rearranging again, 3 equals 2, take 6c. Get negative 6c equals what? 1. So c equals... So what's my function? f of x is now equal to... 2 cos 3x minus 6. Minus 6 times negative 1 over 6. 
remember it was negative 6C, and that gives me, that goes away, they cancel, plus one, yeah? Can you see how that all goes together? So we started off with our problem, we interpreted the problem as being just a, a, an integration problem using the indefinite integral, but we're also given an important point which then helped us to find the constant of integration. We combined a rule and the property to help us get our final answer. 